morning guys. It's Christina with the Geocache family. We uh, just had our Memorial Day weekend remembering our servicemen and working, <laughs> working on our homestead. So uh, let me show you what we did this weekend. We ended up buying two more dog kennels, which were 10 by 10. Uh, I wanted to give bunnies a bigger area to play in once we get it lined with wire or if we're out here with them so like right now Castor is out and his attention is fully on the girls but the boys are going to be on this side and in essence we went from uh, a 10 by 10 space that each of the bunnies had to uh, a 10 by 20 I think uh, reconfiguring it and so We'll have the boys tucked up underneath the, sh the tree here so they have shade and then that way they can run and get exercise uh we're gonna move them today but we're ending we're gonna swap panels so that one with the door is gonna come inside here and go here and so in essence there's only one door on the outside this one that we can come in and then we can go to the girls and boys through that um, and then uh, this will be bolted together so that they don't move. Um, so this one will go where that one's at, and then that one will come in here, and then this one will go down. <laughs> um, so we are just going to move the boys over for now, um, just to alleviate stress, and then um, I may let the girls just come out and play for a little bit because we have... The new fluffle of Void and her eight babies right now. And then we've got those five. Um, she had five boys again. Five boys, three girls. They're just going to have to take turns rotating because we have to keep the boys separate as they reach maturity. The girls, they do fine. Uh, they're froggy now because they're near a boy. Um, but it will help. We're going to take the black stuff and line shoot I probably should do that first before we bring cages over here um, but we'll line the inside so that they can't see each other as easily um, just to reduce the stress <laughs> or the anxieties of wanting to be together um, you have to watch them because I've heard not experienced it but I've heard that they can breed through fences so and he's already looking at willow hey no more babies no more nope 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 we're gonna keep the boys in sets of two except for caster he's a bigger bun bun um, so he stays in that bigger one so he doesn't run quite as much as those guys do uh, but we are definitely putting them on a rotation so they can get out and exercise um, until we can find homes, good homes for them where they will be loved on and taken care of. Otherwise we are flipping inundated because we have all these guys in here too. And we still have about a month or so before we have to start separating them, but <sighs> so many bunnies, so many. <laughs> that one's the one we're keeping. Yeah, and then we're keeping all the girls. Because the girls can be in a fluffle. <sighs> yeah. We, we, we had a lot. I, uh, I, we got a riding lawnmower, and so we all took turns cutting down the little bit of grass we have. The sheeps have been eating a little bit of new grass, because it's fun and different and new. And then um, we made this run in here and it's open all day to all of the animals but if for whatever reason um, we need to go somewhere we can keep him and the sheep safe from her because she's a brat and she picks on him so they don't really care for each other too much huh hazel doesn't care but maple is aggressive huh Owen we're always yelling at her to leave him alone huh you gotta leave him alone. He's a baby. Yeah, so a little bit of cleanup. And um, what are you doing, buddy? Get these bunnies situated. 
I sent the, the middling to go get raw, uh, the bricks to put the boys up and she's not back yet. So I think I may have to go rescue her because I want to raise the boys up. Oh, anyway, I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. to raise it. Oh, did you hit what you need? I did. Four, four and a half is the highest, correct? Right. Okay. So we get where we're going? to raise it. Oh, did you hit with your knee? I did. But four, four and a half is the highest, correct? Right. Okay. Can we get where we're going? Yeah. Turn your key. Wait, where's the brake? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And then that enables the reverse mode. And then you're live. The what do you mean that enables my reverse mode? That way you can go in reverse. If that's not red, then you can't go in reverse. Okay. And your gas pedal is live. Is this it? Yep. No, I haven't. I just broke it out of the garage. I mean, the carport. <laughs> I want to go right there. All right. So now you push that red button. Or this? You pull it, yeah, I think. You don't know? Huh? You don't know? Not 100%. That's on the highest setting, so you want to lower it to cut shorter. On the left? Yeah. drive it first without engaging the the thing so just that yeah whoa look at you go <laughs> it's pretty cool huh now put the blade on you feel powerful <laughs> the red button pull up 
down. Pull up. That was scary. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah, right there. <laughs> Maple can't figure out. <laughs> Look at me, I eat. I eat the stuff. What, are, are you biting me? She is. She's like, are you biting me? Huh? Hi, baby. Oh. Oh. Yeah, did I squish you too hard? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Babies. Babies. I have been good. I have shown considerable restraint. But these are the birds that started me on my chicken venture. And the ones I've always wanted. These are silkies. And to have a, a place that sells the birds by the breed and not just all thrown together and you don't know what you're getting. Oh my gosh, I was so excited. And so, yeah, sucker was written on my head and I brought them home. <laughs> Even though I didn't want babies this year. Because <sighs> look at them. Look at them! How can you say no? I didn't bring the goose home. <laughs> huh, I didn't bring the goose home. I did good. They just had breakfast, so now their tummies are full and they want to get warm again. Oh. 
freaking love chickens.